the state parks could look very different. There's a new plan being proposed that could change their landscape, and it's not sitting well with everyone. Local Sense Roy Ramos is live in North Miami with more on the growing controversy. Roy. Ladies, when I spoke with visitors that were arriving here today, they say they really enjoy their state parks. We are at Olita State Park here in North Miami, but when they heard about the development of things like pickleball courts, golf courses, and lodging, well, some we spoke with told us they were against that. There are 175 state parks across Florida that attract millions of visitors each year, which draw in billions of dollars in economic impact. But the Florida Department of Environmental Protection have now announced an initiative to expand public access, increase outdoor activities, and provide new lodging at nine of them. The extra income would be nice for Florida. That's always helpful. The DEP calls it the Great Outdoor Initiative, and in addition to more campsites, the state is proposing adding recreational areas like pickleball courts, disc golf, and golf courses. Some of the things may be okay, like the pickleball and the frisbee golf. I'm not sure about hotels and golf courses. The proposal announced earlier this week already getting bipartisan blowback with Representative Matt Gates posting to X. I'm opposed to Florida's DEP plan to make parks into golf courses. Environmentalists like Shannon Stratman with Youth Environmental Alliance tells me when she heard of the proposed changes, she was immediately against them. It's devastating for me to hear, um, specifically the construction. When we look around us, we have so many really beautiful native species around us. While the initiative is just a proposal at this time, the state still wants to hear from you. Officials holding meetings around the state. Shannon plans to attend the one next Tuesday at FIU's Biscayne campus, where there will be a discussion of adding 10 additional cabins, four pickleball courts, and a disc golf course at Olita State Park in North Miami. I don't want them to continue the development. At the end of the day, like the, the natural ecosystem is what's most important at the, for me. And the state has said that the additional uh, amenities are in response to the demand of residents. As far as things that would be constructed like golf courses, well, they say that would be done in a way that would minimize habitat impacts. If you'd like to attend those meetings, we've put the dates and times on our website. You can find them at local10.com. For now, in North Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. This one is definitely a talker. Thanks, Roy. Taking a live look.